Well, I nannied for eight years, and I believe that that um, is enough. And I feel as if, you know, I feel like we should, some countries um, make, uh, I, I'm assuming they're men, only their men serve in the military for two years. I do feel like as as a country, everybody should nanny for two years and yeah, would reduce yeah. the population. And um, also, and you should also have to, rescue a dog for every child that you have. Um, but I, I nannied for eight years, and, like, in that time span of I, the family, it was one family, and they had two kids, like, two other kids. Like, so I started as the kids were babies growing up, and I'm, like, I love them so much, but I'm, like, no, I saw it. I saw it. It's so real. I saw all the... You, like, people see the cuteness, you know, from the outside. Oh, look how cute your family is. Look, yeah, maybe I, I, you know, for 10 hours a day, I saw, I, I was there and I just, I feel like I have PTSD from it. I babysat too. And I also have PTSD from it because also I would babysit in my 20s and then I'd go do stand up after. Oh. And I would be so tired. Oh, and, and the difference in those worlds. It's so different. From going from nannying, like, you know, like a family that's like, will you nurture my child? And you're doing like kitty games and you're teaching them how to share and, and you know, how to play nice and have nice hands and we don't yeah. kick and hit, you know, like, and everything. And then you go into to a mic that night and it's the most degenerative people <laughs> talking about the most degenerative shit. And it's such a like... Uh, like a push and pull from back and forth, and then and then you go back the next morning, but you're still in like open mic mode with like the grimiest half human, half mutant people, and you go back to like raising a, a six month old the no, next morning. It's so crazy! It is such a push and pull. It is such a head fuck. Yeah, I also get though why, uh, like the I th wasn't the rumors that Steve from Blue's Clues had a drug and alcohol problem or or why anybody in adults that do kid shows end up effed up because it's such because a Because it's fake. never your first choice. And it's you're faking it. It's such a hard fake. You're like, uh, <laughs> uh, whoa, let's feel this plushy pillow. <gasps> and, then, and you're like, get, and then like, as soon as you're done with that, you're like, I need a shot of whiskey. I, I think you come to work fucked it's up. Blue's Clues guy on drugs. <laughs> See, let's face it. He's on meth. Someone wrote. I, 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 I don't see how you wouldn't be. I feel like being a children's performer is like the lowest level. That being said, if any children's shows are interested in a new host, reach out to me. Would you do it? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on the. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. There, it's. A... It's like I. It's so corny though. Is like he... the level of corny that you have to just commit to is really yeah, it's hard. What did he say? It's like, row, imagine singing Row, Row Your Boat to a TV screen. You can't, you can't. He was clinically depressed. You have to be. You have yeah. to be to be like talking to children for that long. Like, because you're an adult that has real adult problems and real adult worries and to like, to turn all that off all the time and, and talk about uh, bubbles <laughs> it, it, and colors. It actually sounds like a nice vacation. I can't. I don't. Every day that becomes your hell. No, no. What's the, what's the one? What's <laughs> that one hell. bitch? Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel. <laughs> you're right. like you're not even periwinkle, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're the color of my dying grandmother's <laughs> sunspots. <laughs> like this part is embarrassing. Oh, is Miss Rachel the yoga girl? She just like. Here, let's can we click on a Miss Rachel? Yeah. Hi, friends. Hi. <laughs> okay. Look, it's a surprise egg. Yeah, How I don't do think I could do that. What's inside? Every day. Yeah. I mean, it's fun for a second, but imagine like. <laughs> imagine right before they said go. Your husband told you he's leaving you for, for like a younger woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you'd yeah. be like, "Wow, guys! <laughs> today I saw a bird on a tree. Do you know what a bird is?" And you're 
like the bird was younger and and tweeted and had bigger <laughs> fucking tits <laughs> because, <laughs> because she hasn't been weighed down by a fucking shit, <laughs> loveless marriage for five years. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I feel like you could do children's TV. So, I, I would. I would. You sold it. I can't. I, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I was like, are you guys wearing shoes at home? Look down. <laughs> Dude, you're so good at it. <laughs> mine, mine was like when they would always like wait for the answer and they'd be like, is this a triangle or a circle? Yeah, and they would yeah, just yeah. stare into the camera and you and I always just pictured them in the studio with like a bunch of adults around and they were like, you want me to wait? You want me to, to wait for the imaginary <laughs> children to know what shape it is? And, like, just the thoughts in their head that was like, fuck, how did I get here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so funny.